Hi, I'm Amy Titus and welcome to Herbal Awakening with Amy. On this video, I'm going to show you how to make an amazing cup of tea in four simple steps. Let's get started. Hey guys, it's Amy with Herbal Awakening with Amy. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an amazing cup of tea with just four simple steps I really can't wait to get into it, so let's go. Step number one, we're going to pick the herb or herbs that we want to use. Plants are medicine and herbalism is a beautiful way for us to empower ourselves and take our health into our own hands. And so we wanna make sure that the herb that we use is going to help us with whatever benefit that we wanna experience. With that being said, for people who are beginners, it is very important to make sure that the herb that you're working with and playing with um, doesn't have any counterindications with any of the medications or herbs that you're already using and is generally safe for everyone to use. For my purposes today, I'm going to be using a really beautiful blend of rose petal, holy basil, red clover, and orange peel. And I chose those things because I would love some cortisol and stress support from the holy basil. I would love to open up my heart chakra a little bit more. Um, and that is what I use the rose for. Orange peel is a beautiful citrusy balance. And then the red clover uh, helps me connect to my womb space. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. And if you're interested in starting your herbal journey, I think one of the best things that you can do is actually invest in an herbal guide. So you can go through the book and look at different herbs that you may have never heard of and understand better their chemical compounds and how they interact with the human body. You can also find a credible source online and follow them and really start to develop um, your base of knowledge that way. All right, guys, so we've chosen what herb we're going to use. Our very next step is to determine what method we're going to use to steep our tea. One of, a, one of the great things about tea is that we can use a lot of different methods in order to create an amazing cup of tea. We can use anything from a bag, which could be disposable or reusable, to a press, to even just putting herbs into a pot of hot water, letting it steep, and then straining it off from there. Really, whatever you have at your disposal or whichever way you prefer um, is really perfect. So one thing that I do suggest, regardless of the utensil that you're using, is that it's made out of an organic material. For example, if you're using a bag to steep your tea in, I recommend that you use a cotton or hemp bag or a wood pulp bag. Um, if you're going to be using a press rather than plastic, I always suggest that you use a glass or a metal. For my purposes today, I'm going to be using a glass French press. It's one of my absolute favorite ways um, to be able to agitate the herbs so that the herbal flavors, aromas, and compounds are integrating fully and freely within the hot water. Now that we know what herbs we're using, how we're going to steep our tea, the next step, step number three, is measuring out the herbs for the appropriate strength that we want. Again, something that thrills me about tea is that it's so customizable. We can make it as strong or as weak as we want it to be just based on how much herbs we're using. As a general rule, I like to use one to two tablespoons of loose leaf herbs in order to make one serving of tea. Of course, if you'd like it to be stronger or weaker than that, depending on what herb you're using and the kind of medicine it has in it, you can back that up, back that down or ramp that up to fit your specific needs. Whenever you're using an herb for the very first time, I always recommend using less and working your way up so that you can really see how that herb is going to affect you and make sure that it's going to give you the benefits that you're desiring. If you make a tea and you realize that it's a little bit too strong, you can always dilute it back down with hot water. So if you're really not sure what you're wanting, it is always better to make the tea on the stronger side because it's almost impossible to have a weak tea and then make it stronger. Um, but it's always an option to have a strong tea and make it weaker by diluting it with water. One little tip that has really been helpful for me is actually keeping an herbal journal. I like to write down all of the different herbs that I'm using, how strong I usually make them, and then the benefit or effect that I'm experiencing. That way I can know when I'm working with each specific herbs what to expect and how to get the optimal effect. 
Another important thing is when you're trying an herb for the first time, go ahead and try it all by itself, all alone. That way you can really interact with it on a one-on-one -on -one basis and understand how it's affecting you, mind, body, and spirit. Please understand that when you're using more than one herb, a kind of compound effect is initiated so that the different chemical compounds of each are working together to benefit each other or subtract from each other. So it's really important to know what you're using and how you're using it. And that's why we always say use use herbs that are generally safe for everyone to consume. That way you don't have to worry about any undesirable effects, but it is important to know that these beautiful creatures play off of each other and one without the other is going to act differently than when they're together. I recommend steeping tea from anywhere from five to 10 minutes. And I know what you're thinking, that's a huge variance. I mean, come on. Something that's so important to really grasp is that depending on how delicate the plant material is, you're going to want to steep it for less time or more time. For example, if we're going to steep in something like a rose petal, we're going to need a lot less time than we need, would need for something like a China green tea or a black tea. So really understanding how dense the product that you're working with is, is super important. And sometimes we do an herbal blend, right? So it's important to find a nice middle ground where you're not over steeping the product, but you're not under steeping the product too much. There are even instances when we are steeping or extracting from a very dense product like a dandelion root or an ashwagandha root. And that has actually a completely different method for steeping that we'll go over in another video. So stay tuned for that one. Okay guys, we're moving right along here. We have selected the plant medicine that we're going to use. We have established the method. We have determined the measurement for the strength that we want. And step number four, we're actually going to create our tea. So the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and measure out the amount of tea that you're going to want. And remember, I recommend one to two tablespoons for every serving of tea. Now your serving of tea could be anywhere from four ounces of water to 18 to 20 ounces of water. It really just depends on you. So this is a very individualized process that you're gonna get to play with and figure out how your perfect tea is created. For me, I like to use about 12 ounces of tea. So that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to put the measured out tea into my beautiful press, French press. And if you are using a French press, it's really handy to select one that has measurements on the side so you can see exactly how much 12 ounces or eight ounces or six ounces of water is going to be. I'm going to heat up my water, have that all ready to go. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that right on top of the herbs and uh, fill that up right up to the line. One very, very important thing to remember is that when you are steeping your tea, you're going to wanna to cover that. And that is because all of the beautiful steam that comes off of the hot water is actually chock full of essential oils that you're going to want to ingest because that's part of the medicine. So if you leave your steeping tea uncovered, those are just going to basically float off and be evaporated into the air. However, if you keep your tea covered, it's going to create condensation on top of whatever the lid is and then drop back down into the cup. So that's a little insider pro tip for you. All right guys, it's been five minutes. Let's go ahead and strain out our tea. Now, this French press actually has an amazing strainer built in, and so I don't need to worry about that, but you can also get a fine mesh tea strainer that you can hold with your other hand and just go ahead and strain your tea right off into your cup. And there you have it, a perfect, amazing cup of tea. Okay guys, we have our beautiful cup of tea that is just waiting to be consumed by us, but there's one more step, and that's any add-ons that you want to introduce to your cup of tea, whether that be beautiful organic local raw honey, or stevia, lemon, cinnamon, cayenne pepper, the options are really infinite, but it really just depends on what you're wanting to achieve and how you want your tea to taste. 
I love sweets, so I love to add local raw honey to my tea. I also really enjoy adding cayenne pepper, which actually naturally boosts your metabolism and gives you a little bit of burst of energy. So that's something that I like to add to my tea if I'm in the middle of my day and want a little kickstart. It really just depends on what you want to experience. So you have your beautiful cup of tea, you have your add-on, and you are ready to find a nice, comfy, cozy spot to really dig deep and enjoy. All right, gang, you are all ready to make an amazing cup of tea in just four simple steps. I hope this video has helped you and you're all ready to dive right in and make that beautiful, delicious cup of tea that you deserve oh so much. Thank you so much for taking this time to awaken with me. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like button. And please subscribe if you're interested in watching more videos on how to have your own herbal awakening.